friends, welcome back to more with Marquita. So mom was so inspired by her bathroom transformation that she said I had to do her kitchen. Mom and I both love better home and gardens, so she challenged me to give her a better home and gardens kitchen. So we went and picked up a fresh magazine here at Sam's Club. We went through it and she went with this mint colored kitchen theme and I'm super excited to see what it's gonna turn out to be. Of course, it's gonna be my own spin on things. I'm gonna try to get as close as a picture as I can. So let's start this better homes and garden challenge. Here's mom's kitchen before. I'm gonna start off by painting a dark beige over the white walls. My nephew DJ, he came over to help me take all the cabinet doors off the hinges. Go DJ, God, that's my DJ. Go DJ. Next, I'm gonna clean everything off with a degreaser. I would just use regular cleaner, but everything is so greasy, so I'm having to use a degreaser. I thought the easy off was great, but I actually love the scrub free from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, take a look at how the scrub free cleaned the cabinet. Look at that, y'all. Compare it to the easy off, it left residue. I love scrub free from the Dollar Tree because it's fume free and it cleans everything. So this is the fancy contact paper that I got from Amazon. Y'all, I will say compare it to using what I got from the Dollar Tree. This is a lot more sturdier and it lasts longer. We covered a full kitchen with I think two rows, two and a half rows. Y'all, I would have spent uh, bukus at the Dollar Tree. So if you're going to do this project, I would really recommend you just order from Amazon because the quality is fantastic. And it does have um, a little bit of texture on it. So I would order it again for this project at any time. So for the cabinets, we had to use a full sheet to cover the cabinet and then they were so big we had to cut a piece of a sheet in half to cover the rest. We didn't worry about covering the inside, just the outside and it's just simple as putting a sticker on and then cutting um, the part where the hinges are. Here's a final look after we finished and we put everything back on. We also put uh, faux wood on the countertop. I added these really cool battery operated sensor lights. Look at them y'all, oh my gosh. Uh, they are battery operated and censored by body heat. There's a sensor. Here's a remote. You can change the light colors and they're just awesome. To me, they just make it look more fancy. I hope you all enjoyed part one of this video. There's so much more I have to explain and so much more that I have to finish. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah. And I love you. Ha, 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 ha.